Maurice Mizanin is a Canadian-American professional wrestler, professional wrestling manager, actress, reality star, and glamour model. She is currently signed to WWE, appearing on the Raw brand as the manager of The Miz, under the ring name Maurice. After spending years modeling, including winning Miss Hawaiian Tropic Canada in 2003, Willette participated in the WWE Diva Search competition and was hired by WWE in 2006. She spent time in developmental territories Ohio Valley Wrestling and Florida Championship Wrestling, before being assigned to the SmackDown brand in 2008. That year, Maryse won her first WWE Divas Championship. In 2009, she was drafted to the WWE Raw brand, and won the Divas Championship for the second time in 2010, making her the first woman to hold it more than once. In 2010, she co-hosted NXT and managed Ted DiBiase, prior to her release from the company in 2011. In 2016, she returned to the company and became the manager of her husband The Miz. That year, she joined the cast of the reality show Total Divas. In 2018, WWE announced a spin-off show titled Miz and Mrs., which stars Willette. She and her husband also serve as executive producers. Chapter 1, Early Life and Career Willette was born in Montreal, Quebec, but grew up in Edmonston, New Brunswick. In high school, Willette was the only girl in her class, and ran the school's fashion show. She also began developing a range of makeup products. Willette began her modeling career as a beauty pageant contestant, winning Miss Hawaiian Tropic Canada 2003 and finishing second at the international finals of Miss Hawaiian Tropic 2004. She was also on the cover of Playboy's 2007 Girls of Canada de Calendar. Chapter 2 Professional Wrestling Career Chapter 2 Section 1 World Wrestling Entertainment slash WWE Chapter 2 Section 1 Subsection 2 Diva Search and Developmental Territories In mid-2006, Willette tried out for World Wrestling Entertainment's Diva Search. She made the final cut and was one of the top eight contestants, but was the second person eliminated on July 24. Despite her elimination, she was invited to observe workouts and the training facility at WWE's developmental territory, Ohio Valley Wrestling, along with Brooke Adams. Willette later said that she was very, very excited, as it was her dream to become a WWE diva. Willette was officially signed to a WWE developmental contract on August 24, 2007 and was assigned to OVW for training. She made her in-ring debut at an OVW Live event in December 2006. In March 2007, she began wrestling in dark matches prior to the OVW television tapings. In mid-2007, Willette began managing Sylvain Grenner. When Florida Championship Wrestling opened in mid-2007, Willette was transferred to the new developmental facility, and on September 25, she made her FCW debut as the valet of Ryan O'Reilly along with Lacey Von Erich. Willette then started competing in singles and tag team competition, before managing Ted DiBiase Jr. in December 2007, and was at ringside when he captured the FCW Southern Heavyweight Championship. Chapter 2 Section 1 Subsection 3 Early Storylines On the September 22, 2006 episode of SmackDown, Willette, known as Simply Maries, was shown on the Titan Tron welcoming the Montreal viewers in French to the season premiere of SmackDown. On the CW Network. Maries made her first official televised appearance on the May 21, 2007 episode of Raw to present American rapper Timberland's new music video for the single Throw It On Me, in which she had appeared. By the time she began appearing regularly on SmackDown at the beginning of 2008, she had adopted a snobby attitude and become a villainous character. On the March 7, 2008 episode of SmackDown, Maries competed in a swimsuit contest against Victoria, Michelle McCool, Cherry, and Eve Torres, which ended in a brawl between Maries and Torres. The following week, 
she was the first eliminated from another swimsuit competition. On March 28, Marys competed in a wet and wild match, teaming with Victoria against Cherry and McCool in a losing effort. On a SmackDown After the Bell video on WWE's website, the tag team Deuce and Domino dumped Cherry, who had been their manager, and replaced her with Marys. Marys then insulted Cherry, only for Cherry to slap her. On the May 16th episode of SmackDown, Marys made her in-ring debut in a loss to Cherry, though she defeated Cherry in a rematch the following week. On the June 6th episode of SmackDown, SmackDown general manager Vicky Guerrero announced the creation of the WWE Divas Championship, and that same night the Divas competed in a Golden Dreams match to qualify for the championship match at the Great American Bash, which was won by Natalia. On the July 4, 2008 episode of SmackDown, she competed again in another Golden Dreams match to face Natalia for the championship, however she failed to win. For several weeks, Marys competed in six-person tag team matches with Victoria and Natalia against Cherry, Michelle McCool and Maria. She suffered a minor broken nose after receiving a bulldog from Maria in August, 2008. Chapter 2 Section 1 Subsection 4 Divas Champion Marie's began a rivalry with Michelle McCool in September 2008, challenging her for the WWE Divas Championship at Unforgiven, and in a rematch the following week on SmackDown, but failed to win on both occasions. On the September 23rd episode of ECW, Marie's defeated McCool in a non-title match. After a month-long absence, Marie's returned at Survivor Series pay-per-view event in November, participating in a 5-on-5 five -five Divas elimination tag team match, eliminating Kelly Kelly, Mickey James and Candice Michelle, Marie's was the sole survivor of her team, but was ultimately eliminated by Beth Phoenix. At the Armageddon pay-per-view on December 14, Marie's teamed up with Gillian Hall, Victoria and Natalia in a losing effort to McCool, Maria, Kelly Kelly and Mickey James in an 8 Diva Santa's Little Helper tag team match. On December 19, Marie's pinned Maria to become the number one contender for Michelle McCool's Divas Championship. The following week on SmackDown, Marie's defeated McCool, with Maria as the special guest referee, to win her first Divas Championship. On December 28, a house show in Raleigh, North Carolina, Marie's dislocated her knee in a tag team match against the Bella Twins. It was later announced that the injury was not major, and therefore only missed a few weeks' action. On the January 23, 2009 episode of SmackDown, Marie's returned and sat at ringside commentating during a Divas tag team match. She returned to in-ring action on February 20, teaming with Michelle McCool in a win against Maria and Eve Torres where she pinned Torres. Marie's made her first appearance on Raw on March 2, as a commentator for a match involving the WWE Women's Champion Melina, with Marie's attacking her after the match. The following week, Marie's made her in-ring debut on Raw in a Champion vs. Champion Lumberjill match, which she defeated Melina. The rivalry extended to a tag team match on SmackDown on March 13, where Melina and Maria defeated McCool and Marie's. On March 27 episode of SmackDown, Marie's made her first championship defense, losing by disqualification after the returning Gail Kim attacked Marie's and McCool, and thus retained the championship. On April 5, Marie's competed in a 25 Diva Miss WrestleMania Battle Royal at WrestleMania 25, but she was eliminated by Beth Phoenix and the match was won by Santina Morella. Marie's made her last appearance on SmackDown on April 24, retaining her championship against Gail Kim. As part of the 2009 WWE draft on April 13, Marie's was drafted to the Raw brand, and in the process, the Divas Championship became exclusive to Raw. She made her first appearance as part of the brand on April 27, teaming with Beth Phoenix, Rosa Mendez and Gillian Hall in a loss to Santina Morella, Mickey James, Brie Bella, and Kelly Kelly. Marie's then began feuding with Mickey James after she cost James a number one contender's battle royal, which was eventually won by Kelly Kelly, by spraying hairspray in her eyes. 
The following week, Maries lost a championship match against Kelly by disqualification, meaning the championship did not change hands, and won a subsequent rematch by pinfall two weeks later on June 8. At Night of Champions on July 26, Maries lost the Divas Championship to James. Despite being only the second Divas Champion, her reign of 216 days remained the longest in the title's history for nearly five years, until AJ Lee surpassed her reign in January 2014. After losing the championship, Maries underwent a legitimate knee surgery. She returned on the November 23 episode of Raw, disguised as the gobbledygooker, as the guest timekeeper for a Thanksgiving-themed Six Divas tag team match. After the match, she revealed herself by attacking the Divas champion Melina. The following week, Marys made her in-ring return teamed with Gillian Hall in a tag team match against Melina and Gail Kim, where Marys pinned Melina. On the December 7 episode of Raw, Marys defeated Gail Kim by dirty tactics, and following the match, Marys proceed to attack Kelly Kelly, who was working as ring announcer, ordering her to announce she was the next Divas champion, but was stopped by Melina. In early 2010, a tournament was held for the newly vacated WWE Divas Championship, due to Melina's injury. Marys entered the tournament, and defeated Brie Bella and Eve Torres in the first round and semi-finals, respectively, to advance to the finals. The tournament's finals were originally scheduled for Elimination Chamber on February 21, instead, the match was changed by the SmackDown general manager Vicky Guerrero to an interbrand tag team match, where Marys teamed with her scheduled opponent Gail Kim against Le Cool, which was won by Le Cool as a result of Marys abandoning Kim during the match. The following night on Raw, Marys defeated Kim in the finals to win the championship, Becoming the first diva to have held it twice. On March 15, episode of Raw, Marys defeated Kelly Kelly in a non title match, attacking her after the match before being attacked by Eve Torres and Gail Kim, and saved by Le Cool, then joining with them and Vicky Guerrero. On March 26, episode of SmackDown, Marys teamed up with Le Cool, Guerrero, and Alicia Fox, defeating Beth Phoenix in a five on one handicap match before being attacked by Kim, Eve, Kelly, and Mickey James. At WrestleMania 26, on March 28, she was part of the winning team of a 10 Diva tag team match with Le Cool, Fox and Guerrero against Phoenix, James, Kim, Torres, and Kelly Kelly, but the following night on Raw, she was pinned by Torres in a rematch. Marys lost the Divas Championship two weeks later to Eve Torres on the April 12th episode of Raw, and was unsuccessful to regain it at Over the Limit pay-per-view in May. At Fatal 4-Way on June 20, Marys failed to regain the title in a Fatal 4-Way match that also involved then-champion Eve, Gail Kim, and Alicia Fox, which Fox would win pinning her to become the champion. Chapter 2 Section 1 Subsection 5 Managing Ted DBRC On the June 21 episode of Raw, after Ted DBRC fired Virgil, Marys became DBRC's new personal assistant. At Money in the Bank, on July 18, Marys accompanied DBRC in his Money in the Bank ladder match for the WWE Championship contract, which she tried to pick the briefcase, but was stopped by John Morrison. Along with DBRC, Marys was announced as a mentor for Brodus Clay for the fourth season of NXT on November 30. On Raw, on December 13, Marys was involved in a battle royal to determine the winner of the Diva of the Year Slammy Award, but was eliminated by Natalia. Clay traded his mentors, Marys and DBRC, for Alberto Del Rio on the January 25, 2011 episode of NXT. In late September 2010, Marys was involved in an storyline with Goldust, in which he stole the Million Dollar Championship from DBRC, and lost a subsequent mixed, tag team match against Goldust and Oksana on October 26. On March 8, Marys became the co-host of NXT, alongside Matt Stryker. As part of NXT Redemption, Marys was involved in several romantic storylines, most notably with Yoshi Tatsu, Lucky Cannon, and Hornswaggle. In April, DBRC made an ultimatum to Marys for her to choose to continue on the NXT or continue with him. The following week, 
Marys chose to continue appearing on NXT, disbanding their alliance in the process. In August, Marys underwent surgery for an abdominal hernia and took time off WWE programming. After two months of inactivity, Marys was released from her WWE contract on October 28. Chapter 2 Section 2 Independent Circuit On October 5, 2012, Marys appeared at the Family Wrestling Entertainment event Back to Brooklyn, performing live commentary. She began appearing regularly for FWE, where she commentated during women's matches. Chapter 2 Section 3 Return to WWE On April 4, 2016 episode of Raw, the episode after WrestleMania 32, Marie's returned, during a WWE Intercontinental Championship match between the champion Zack Ryder and her husband, The Miz. During the match, Marie's slapped Ryder's father, who was in the front row, in order to distract Ryder and allowed Miz to capture the championship for the fifth time, thus becoming his manager in the process, where the two then became an on-screen power couple. She formally reintroduced herself three days later on the April 7 episode of SmackDown before once more helping Miz to retain his championship over Ryder. She then began to cut various promos with Miz as his host during the Miz TV segments, while calling themselves the It Couple. Following a hiatus due to the shoot of a WWE film, Marie's returned to WWE television on the June 27 episode of Raw, where she helped Miz to retain his championship against Kane after she faked an ankle injury. After being drafted to SmackDown as part of the 2016 WWE draft, which took place on July 19, she helped her husband to retain the title on several occasions. On February 2017, Marie's was involved in her first feud since her return when she and the Miz feuded with the also real life couple Nikki Bella and John Cena. This culminated in a mixed, tagged team match at WrestleMania 33, where Marie's and Miz would lose in what was Marie's first match in over six years. On April 10, Marie's was drafted to the Raw brand along with Miz as part of the Superstar Shakeup. On June 4, at Extreme Rules, Marie's was in Miz's corner when he won the WWE Intercontinental Championship for the seventh time by defeating Dean Ambrose. In September, following her pregnancy announcement, Marie's stopped appearing on television. On November 19, 2017, she made an appearance on the Survivor Series pay-per-view crowd watching Miz fight United States champion Baron Corbin. On January 22, 2018, in the Raw 25 Years special episode, Marie's was honored as part of a segment involving women considered legends that contributed to the company's success, including the Bella Twins, Kelly Kelly, Lillian Garcia, Tori Wilson, Michelle McCool, Terry Runnels, Maria Canellis, and the Hall of Famers Jacqueline and Trish Stratus. Later she started making backstage promotional videos with Miz supporting him in the WWE Mixed Match Challenge, in which he won alongside Asuka in April in support of the charity Rescue Dogs Rock. Marie's returned to SmackDown to manage The Miz in July 2018. Following Marie's interference in The Miz vs. Daniel Bryan match at SummerSlam, Marie's and Miz were put in a mixed tag match by the SmackDown general manager Page against Brie Bella and Daniel Bryan at Hell in a Cell on September 16 and 1. On the September 11 edition of SmackDown Live, Marie's competed in her first singles match in over eight years, losing to disqualification to Brie Bella. Following this match, Marie's would again stop appearing on television as Miz began a storyline with Shane McMahon. At Elimination Chamber Marie's returned as a face announcing she and the Miz are having their second child. Although Miz was drafted to SmackDown during the 2019 WWE draft, Marie's went undrafted. Her first post-draft appearance occurred, during a pre-recorded segment on SmackDown in December 2019 for Miz's feud with the fiend Bray Wyatt, where she appeared with Miz at their home. Marie's returned to Raw on April 12, 2021, as part of Miz TV. On the same episode, Marie's accompanied and helped the Miz and John Morrison to defeat Damian Priest in a handicap match. Chapter 3, Other Media In April 2007, she appeared alongside fellow WWE divas Ashley, Tori Wilson, Brooke Adams, Layla, 
and Kelly Kelly in Timberland's music video Throw It On Me featuring the Hives. Willette also made an appearance in the January 2009 issue of Muscle and Fitness, along with Eve Torres and Michelle McCool. She and John Morrison were interviewed on Eurosport in the same year. She also made a special appearance on Redemption Song, which was hosted by WWE wrestler Chris Jericho, along with Candice Michelle, Mickey James, and Eve Torres. She has also appeared in several newspaper interviews, including Tokyo Headline, and was on the cover of Sessions magazine in October 2010. In 2012, Maryse was featured on the cover of Le Journal de Montreal, and on MDA show of Strength with the Miz and other celebrities. In 2015, Willette had roles in Sharknado 3, Oh Hell No! and in Santa's Little Helper, the latter starring The Miz. In the same year, she appeared on the e-reality television series Wags. In 2016, it was announced that Marys would appear as a main cast member on the sixth season of Total Divas, which prompted her return to WWE. In June 2017, Marys along with Miz were cover of the dub magazine with a Jeep car. Marys has appeared in seven WWE video games. She made her in-game debut at WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2010, later appearing in WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, WWE 12, and returned in WWE 2K18, WWE 2K19 and WWE 2K20 and the new game WWE 2K Battlegrounds. In 2018, Marys and her husband Mike appeared in a reality television series titled Ms. and Mrs. It was later announced on July 26 that Marys would not be returning for the eighth season of Total Divas. Chapter 4, Filmography Chapter 5, Other Endeavors Following her release from WWE in 2011, Willette announced her plans for a clothing and jewelry line named House of Marys. Beginning in late 2013, Willette began working as a realtor in Los Angeles after spending a year earning her real estate license. Chapter 6, Personal Life Willette is a native speaker of French, fluent in English, and she is able to read Spanish, although she cannot speak it. Willette has a tattoo of her late father's name, Guy, on her left wrist. She has a degree in business administration, and holds a black belt in martial arts. Her favorite actress is Scarlett Johansson, her favorite bands are Simple Plan and Nickelback, and she loves techno music. Willette is vegetarian. She was inspired to become a professional wrestler by Lita. She cites Lita and Victoria as her dream opponents. In 2013, Willette got engaged to longtime boyfriend and fellow wrestler Mike Mizanin, better known by his ring name, The Miz. The two were married in the Bahamas on February 20, 2014. On March 27, 2018 Marys gave birth to their first child, a daughter named Monroe Sky Mizanin. During Elimination Chamber on February 17, 2019, the couple announced they are expecting their second child, due in September. Their daughter Madison Jade Mizanin was born on September 20, 2019. On June 27, 2018, Wallet officially became an American citizen. The couple resides in Thousand Oaks, California as of 2019. Chapter 7, Championships and Accomplishments Hawaiian Tropic Miss Hawaiian Tropic, Canada Runner-up International Finals of Miss Hawaiian Pro Wrestling Illustrated Ranked number 9 of the top 50 female wrestlers in the PWI female 50 in 2009. World Wrestling Entertainment. WWE Divas Championship. Divas Championship Tournament.